Today, uh, in a traditional streaming um, you know, service, which I guess most of your audience have experienced, uh, that last mile, as, as Todd and Jim actually mentioned before, it's a series of individual streams, right? And it, and it feels wasteful. You're sending the same content, let's say for the popular sports program I picked earlier. It's the same content being replicated hundreds of times in that last mile. And, but the advantage is that those streams can be individualized and customized with custom ads. With ATSC 3.0, you can have the best of both worlds. You, you're broadcasting it to everybody, as, as Todd mentioned, but through the internet connection, you have the ability of individualizing the ads and customizing and stitching them together for, an, for the end user. So this kind of has the benefits of spectrum saving as well as the benefits of customization. Uh, as far as the UHD is concerned, so there's a neat technology in, in ATSC 3.0, which enables you to uh, provide, you know, both HD and UHD signals, but in a way that's very efficient in terms of uh, usage of spectrum. Um, you know, you heard that and talk about mobile devices. Well, mobile devices have an issue in terms of uh, battery life. Uh, and you don't want to drain them. And especially if you're sending a 4K signal to, to a mobile device, it's probably a waste of you know, it's just a waste. Um, so one brute force uh, solution is to have a separate UK, a UHD signal and a separate HD signal, but that's wasteful of, of spectrum. What ATSC 3.0 enables you with new encoding technologies is you can send the HD signal uh, and it's receivable by you know, mobile devices through a gateway or so. Uh, but instead of sending a whole independent UHD signal, you just send a residual or enhancement layer as we call it. And TVs that are ATSC 3.0 compatible can take the HD signal, add a little bit of the residual and get the UHD signal, or in the future it could be 8K. Um, and this allows you to kind of cater to a wide range of devices with different needs without being wasteful and using brute force methods uh, you know, with regards to spectrum. So that's one of the really neat advantages. So it sounds like scale is... is Scalability, that's exactly right. I mean, I, I try to avoid the, uh, the technical term, but that's exactly what it is. It's a scalable video encoding technology. Okay.